Hello friends and greetings for the day. Welcome back to another tutorial on our ISTQB AI tester certification. We are in chapter 6 talking about the neural networks and testing of ML models and today we'll be continuing ahead with 6.2 that is coverage measures for neural networks. Well, to talk about how exactly can you perform the coverage measures when it comes to neural networks, of course, it's a part of testing that how exactly testing takes care of the coverage on the neural networks and we have different techniques to take care of it. Of course, achieving white box test coverage criteria, which includes statement, decision, modified condition, decision coverage, etc. is mandatory for compliance with some safety related standards when using traditional imperative source code and it is recommended by many test practitioners for other critical applications too. Monitoring and improving coverage supports the design of the test cases leading to increased confidence in the test object. I think this is something very fundamental which we are bringing back from the foundation level. In fact, in the foundation when you cover techniques we discuss about the same thing and now we can correlate that it is pretty much applicable when it comes to ML models too. Now using such measures for measuring the coverage of neural network provides a very little value as the code tends to run each time the neural network is executed. Instead, coverage measures have been proposed based on the coverage of the structure of the neural network itself and more specifically the neurons within it. Most of these measures are based on the activation values of the neurons. Now this is more critical to understand team that of course when it comes to the ML model, it's not an ordinary application where a code is executed once and you have an outcome coming desirable to that. At this time, every time an input is given, it works differently, uniquely because an input can vary and there will not be just two outputs that hey, whether it is valid or invalid, whether it will pass or fail. Here the point is in pass also, I have different opinions and different outputs for different set of data sets. So it's going to be, of course, dependent on every neuron that how exactly these activating codes are contributing to it. Now, coverage for neural networks is a new research area. Academic papers have only been published since 2017. As such, there is little uh, objective evidence available for this that shows the proposed measures are effective. It also uh, should be noted, however, that despite statement and decision coverage having been used for over 50 years now, there's also a little objective evidence of their relative effectiveness even though they have been mended for measuring coverage of software in safety related applications such as medical devices or avionics systems. So given that we are talking about the white box test techniques, they have been of course being used for a long time and been made uh, mandatory for a lot of safety related uh, applications and ML models are one among those categories product that yes it certainly talks about the safety of the human by making the right decision and thus it is really really critical but some sort of evidences are available which justifies that um, this can be applied but currently this is an exclusive research area where people are looking forward to find more precise and accurate to the point or specific techniques to deal with uh, coverage measurements of ML models or especially the neural networks. Also to add, these are the following coverage criteria for neural network which have been proposed and applied by researchers to a variety of applications. One, neuron coverage and second is threshold coverage. Neuron coverage, uh, a full neuron coverage requires that each neuron in the neural network achieves an activation value greater than zero because the range is between negative one to plus one so it should be always greater than zero towards the positive side to say that it is effective and precise. This is very easy to achieve in practice and research has shown that almost 100% coverage is achieved with very few test cases on variety of deep neural network. This coverage measure may be most useful as an alarm signals with, when it is not achieved, right? So of course, uh, there will be a signal kind of like representation which could be used to highlight you that when the coverage is unachieved or underachieved compared to 
achieving the required coverage. Whereas on the other hand, the threshold coverage talks about a full threshold coverage requires that each neuron in the neural network achieves an activation value greater than a specified threshold. That means towards the more preciseness. The researchers who created the Deep Explore framework actually suggested that neuron coverage should be measured based on the activation value exceeding a threshold which would change based on the situation. They performed their research with a threshold of 0.75 which is closer to the plus one value when they reported efficiently finding thousands of incorrect corner cases behaviors using this white box approach. This type of coverage has been renamed here to distinguish it more easily from neuron coverage with a threshold set to zero. As some other researchers use the term neuron coverage to mean neuron coverage with threshold of zero. So you, you certainly have threshold coverage or it can be even named as neuron coverage. And this was more towards the preciseness that, hey, anything above zero is acceptable or good, but it might not be something what the market is looking at, or this is not something which is satisfactory or gives you a confidence that what exactly you wanted to achieve. So on top of it, we can say that like generally in our projects too, or a general application too, when it comes to uh, the desired coverage measurements, I can always achieve 100% coverage, or I can also keep it with 60 or 70% coverage. Point is, what is something which is desired to make this ML model safe, secure, and delightful experience for their end users when the system makes the appropriate result? So of course, keeping it closer towards the last 25%, which is 0 0.75 to plus one, would be more effective compared to anything less than that. So this is another coverage which talks about, have you achieved at least 75% coverage on the neurons to get the best output? All right, so adding further to it, of course, we do have uh, three more coverages here. One is sign change coverage, value change coverage, and sign sign coverage. Where sign change coverage, to achieve full sign coverage, test cases need to cause each neuron to achieve both positive and negative activation value, which certainly means that you're trying with end-to-end -end scenarios of the neurons. Uh, you are also taking where exactly it gives you a negative response, Plus, you're also checking whether it gives you a positive response. Like in both the cases, valid or invalid, you're going to test both of them. So when you cover all the positive and negative scenarios of every single neuron turning into negative and positive scenario, you call them as sign change coverage. So if every neuron is covered with the negative and positive side of it, that's what this coverage measure is all about. Value change, of course, to achieve full coverage, uh, full value coverage, um, Test cases need to cause each neuron to achieve two activation values where the difference between the two values exceeds some chosen value, which is predefined. And of course, that would be another important thing what you can achieve by doing this technique and get the best possible outcome. And finally, sign sign coverage. This coverage considers pair of neurons in adjacent layers and the sign taken by their activation values for a pair of neurons to be considered covered, a test case needs to show that changing the sign of a neuron in the first layer causes the neuron in the second layer to change its sign. That is dependencies and of course in the chain more of like integration, uh, you are trying to cover them in the best sequence possible, right? Because an input of the previous neuron will certainly drive the output of the next neuron in terms of activation values. So sign sign is taking two adjacent neurons into consideration instead of standalone because all of the techniques, whatever we have covered so far, is talking about independent neuron at a time. But this one is something which is taking two neurons and relatively being validated, right? So in this case, of course, uh, the pairs will be considered. Uh, the change in the first neuron should result into the next neuron. And I think this is very similar to what we have been doing um, right uh, in our MCDC. So of course we can relate this to that. So of course the first layer causes the neuron in the second layer to change its sign, while the sign of all other neurons in the second layer remains unchanged. Now this is a similar concept to MC or DC. Uh, which is modified condition decision coverage for imperative source code. 
So put together, researchers have reported on further coverage measures based on layers, like although simpler than sign sign coverage, but a successful approach using nearest neighbor algorithm to identify meaningful change in neighboring sets of neurons has been implemented in the TensorForce. So again, if you're already being a user of an AI-based system and being involved in testing ML model, you know what exactly TensorFuzz is. So this tool basically helps you to perform these coverage measurements and allows you to identify the required coverage achieved by the help of technique. Anyway, so that was all to talk about the different coverage measures which we have for the neural, neural networks and uh, Currently still the research is going on to add more value to it. So we should look forward to more improvement happening down the line as we proceed with it. Anyway, so that's all from this particular tutorial team. Should you have anything else, feel free to comment below. I'm always there to address your queries and answer them well. Till then, keep learning, keep exploring, keep understanding the context. Thanks for watching the video team and happy learning.